Hey YouTube, it's Matt with Almost Reptiles and it is time for a clutch update. We haven't been very good about doing these, we're always slow to leak them out. So we're going to start doing these a different way here eventually. So you'll see a mix in of our traditional ones and a mix of the way we're going to make it a little quicker. So you're going to start seeing the numbers get kind of jumbled up. We'll do our best to get them all in there. There may be a few exceptions. I probably won't pull out every rattlesnake and throw on the table. Uh, nor probably the carpet python. I'll slowly shed a bunch and get bigger and you can see me get bit all you want then. But today we're going to be up updating our pastel exanthic clutch number eight female bread door killer zebra bee male so let's start by showing you the parents this is our killer zebra bee male <laughs> i think he might be getting ready to start a shed cycle but not too far down the rabbit hole yet there he is good looking snake you can see how well these do hold their a lot lighter silver than a uh, traditional zebra bee would be i can give you a comparison if you want because here would be a traditional zebra bee uh, that's younger than him, just so you can see the difference. Traditional zebra bee versus killer zebra bee. Um, you can make your vote for which one you actually like better, but obviously this has got more genes and it's got an extra copy of pastel. And I want to say this is a phenomenal example of an adult zebra bee, so do keep that in mind too. Um, and mom, mom's very interesting. Now. Every now and then, when you start dealing with Exantic, you'll have a weird thing happen, and they'll turn very dark. So she was not this way, but after she had her babies, even back on food and everything else, she has increased her melanin ten times over. So she has a very dark-looking uh, pastel Exantic now, which is very, very strange. Um, I'll give you an idea. Hey, you're not getting fed. This is her sister who did not go this year. So they are sisters, same parents, same clutch. But you can see what happened. I don't know if it was mother's hormones or what, but this thing went and turned really, really dark uh, compared to the other pastel exantic. And truth be told, I think she was a brighter of the two to start slightly. So really interesting, you know, and you've seen some of that in things like the, uh, how are you looking girl? You're looking good. But you're not going to have babies for me this year. I know. Next year. You'll do it next year, right? Um, you've seen this color change too in animals like the Stormtrooper, which came out funky and then got more and more and more black all over. Obviously, the Stormtrooper is a much more uh, dramatic look than this. But there's something running around in Exantic that does this. And nobody's really isolated it yet. Uh, it made some of those things that pops up and goes like, you know, it's random. But you will see this occasionally in your exantic stuff one that turns really really dark at least in the sk line really kind of cool so anyway put that one back up that is the parents so let's get on to showing you the babies now before we get started showing you the babies i should start with we had six eggs we hatched six out you're only going to see four of them today and you may say matt why are you only showing four four of them to me two reasons one I need to assist feed, and I'm going to do that on Patreon, a little bit of a guide to how we do that. So if you want to see that, hop over there, and we'll show you an assist feed on Patreon of one of these babies. Uh, the other one is we did have a random uh, baby randomly pass, so we did lose one. So we only have five left out of the six. So let me get the first one, which is going to be 22, where are you at? Oh, 801. <laughs> now you're going to see this is going to look a lot like dad, right? Uh, for good reason. 22801 is a killer zebra bee. We hit a lot of these on this clutch. Uh, this is one I chose as my favorite, my favorite female of the bunch anyway. So she is currently listed as a holdback. I say currently because we have other things this year that can produce the same morph. So if I find one I like a better, I may rotate her to the sail bin and keep a different holdback. But as of right now, she's in her holdback list. She's doing really good. Kurt, we had a scale up here. Where'd that thing go? I don't know where'd you move it to. I didn't. You moved it. You cleaned off the table. Do you know where you stuck that scale? Yes. Where? Top drawer. Top drawer. Awesome. Let's just see how she's doing. I guess I should put the numbers towards the camera. That would make more sense. Uh, there we are. I'm going to bet she's 82. Uh, seven grams off. That's why I couldn't be a drug dealer. I'd give you too much stuff. Not to mention it's illegal and, you know, all that kind of stuff. But anyway, <laughs> 89 grams. Put her back up. Uh, 
All right, moving on. I can't remember the number in here I have to assist feed. I think it's the next one. I think it is. Yes, 220802, you'll see on Patreon, it's getting assist fed. Uh, 220803 will be the next one. And this clutch did have a few struggles getting rolling, you know, but they were born pretty good sized babies. So we let them go a little while. Uh, I always look for assist feeding based on the skin tone. And I'll show you that in the Patreon too when the skin starts to get loose. This is another little zebra bee. And as you can see, it is a little smaller than the other one. Again, some of these took a little bit long to get going. The one that's over there actually did the best as well. So uh, started easier and right away. You're doing good though now, aren't you little one? Now, 220804 was another zebra bee, and that happens to be the one we lost, unfortunately. After that, you start getting pastel and super pastel exantic. We labeled this one as a super pastel exantic. I would say that's right. Put that up there for you. And again, this clutch was hard to get going, so they're all going to be a little smaller, not as big as I'd like them to be yet, save the one but they are starting to roll on their own now, all except for the one I'm assist feeding. So, yay me. But there's a super pastel. You can see how nice and light the color is. Uh, a lot of that gray staying through that nice light head. Come here, little one. Now, obviously, this is one of my favorite jeans to work with, but it is not one of Kurt's. Now, this one looks a lot like the one I just showed you, but it, you'll notice it's just not as bright, it's just not as nice, the head's not as light. And that's because this is single gene uh, pastel exantic, not a super pastel exantic. So there you can see, and when I talk about the uh, skin folds, since we've gotten some food in this one, you don't have that really going on there. It's still a little on the thinner side, I'll get to stretch out. I like to fatten that up a little bit. And obviously this would not be a baby at this size that we would be selling. There you can see just a little bit of what I'm talking about. So that's a baby that I wouldn't let not eat for more than two weeks at this point. If it doesn't eat on its own, the next week it'd get an assist. We want to just fatten that up. And so it has some reserves to pull off of. Uh, it has eaten. <laughs> Come here, little one. So we'll put you back up, right? Yes, we will. There you go. There you are. That is that entirety of that clutch. Now, uh, that clutch is what I'm really, really happy with because I've been wanting to hold back a killer zebra bee for a very long time. We got the opportunity to do it once in that about, uh, I don't know, I think it was pretty good size, probably 140, 150 grams or so. I'd have to go back and look. It just randomly shit the bed on us one day. We don't know what happened or why. Uh, so we haven't made one since. This year, this year, we hit four in that clutch. Uh, plus, we've got at least one more, maybe two more laying around out there. I think one more. Uh, we lost them, so we still have four of them. And I expect to have a few more before it's all said and done, quite possibly. So we couldn't up with anywhere from four to about eight of those, which is pretty good, given our odds in the past years. We're only going to keep the one little part with everything else, I do believe. So, Kurt, anything you want to add about this clutch no. on the update? No. Were you happy with these results? He says, sure, I was, other than, of course, losing the baby, that part sucks. Uh, and then, of course, if you be on the struggle bus. And if you remember, part of what set these on the struggle bus is we had that rack fry out, and they were in that rack. And that is also, in this instance, what led to the baby death. So it, it caused us some issues. It was too cold. It ended up trying to regurge and couldn't. I think that was this baby. So the cold uh, rack did that to us. That's all fixed now. We move them all over on the hot rack. We've redone the heat in the one that failed. And I've got it just running as a test rack right now, making sure it's holding. We'll get us up, start putting new babies in as soon as it seems to be doing pretty good. So uh, that part sucked, but all in all, you know, with that pairing, the absolute worst I could make would have been a pastel exantic because I'm going to guarantee to pass on pastel, visual to visual breeding. Pastel exantic is the worst I can make. We did make one of those. Uh, we could also make zebra bees. Killer zebra bees, right? Oh, there's a few more I forgot about back there. Some bitch. Zebra bees, <laughs> killer zebra bees, and uh, super pastel exantics. We didn't hit any zebra bees. We hit four killers and one super pastel. So I can't complain. 
that's a damn good clutch and damn good odds. I'm very happy with results. I just got to get them all fattened up and back. Happy that cold spell kind of threw them for a loop. That's also why the one over there in the hold back rack, you see, didn't have that problem because it never had that cold spell. So there you are. All right, anything else you want to add, Kurt? No. Nope. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.